after being in this industry for some time, we decided we needed another product that would work in this industry. Our objective is to obsolete ourselves every seven to ten years. So this is a whole new concept on how to handle a screening situation in open river. And uh, we started out on a drawing board and sketched up what we needed, as at least got the concept sketched. And then we went out and made a, a wooden model just to test the concept. And what we were after is something that could float away from the debris and go around the debris, but everything would shut down. So we were able to design a chain that become its frame and also its lower sprocket. And once we decided that the concept was valid, we started to work on the other end of this, which was the chain would work. But we tried different sprockets. We tried a triangular sprocket on top and found out that it could lift off of there. And then we went to uh, a sprocket with pins in it that we could grab. And we just kind of worked this out in the shop. Part of it is the concept you design with. Part of it is actually shop testing shows you what you need. And then, if you look at this bracket, it's the same as we use now. It has pins in it. it. It has a bevel shape to bring the chain, if it floats way out there, back in line. But it's pretty much the same concept as we figured out in the first place. So, to give you a better look at this, we needed something that, no matter what come in, this would go over it, around it, it would move away from the screen and pass it. So we developed this hinge system that would allow this head to float up and let anything large pass through that you've got on top of from the bottom end. So I'll, I'll show you down here how this works. This is a machine that we now sell. It's on the market. This one is, as a matter of fact, this one is being shipped now. But the ability for this to lift off the screen, and all the time it's, say it's way back in the screen, it can go out six, eight feet. So this chain that you see here is similar to the wooden chain, except it's been improved considerably as far as the strength of the joints and a lot more engineering went into it. Now there's, there's several things that let us function in this harsh environment. One of the things is that no matter what comes into this screen, and this comes down on top of it, we can crawl over top of it, we can take it out, we can pass it in the front end. Or if something gets in between the, the scrapers, this will lift up as high as it needs. You could pass a 50 gallon drum in here without any problem at all. So from original concept to product we sell is what you're looking at here. See, 11 years ago, we put our first system in wastewater and we put a test in Adrian, Michigan, and we told them to start it up and walk away. Run it 24-7 um, until something went wrong. So after 11 years of continuous use, we still are using the same scrapers, the same chain, the same pins, and the same upper drive. As a matter of fact, the round radius in the bottom of these teeth Right in on a rectangular bar, the radius is still in them. We're not, we really don't know at this point where this machine will wear out. 